Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ladio. Um, today uh, we're going to be working on doing a small project over here on my car radio. When I purchased this car, it didn't have none of these. These are the brackets that I would recommend that people would use if, they're, uh, if they still have the factory radio installed in their car and they're switching to an aftermarket. This car did not have them installed even though it had an aftermarket radio the radio that was in here was actually just hanging in there by the threads of the uh, wiring and there was no type of support yeah we're gonna be working on that and we're gonna be uh, looking at the wiring that I did so this way people understand the concept of actually installing an aftermarket radio connecting it to their factory wiring system uh, now that application it applies to most cars um, I believe that is probably right up to the 2015 models probably a little bit over because a lot of cars came out with a, a different type of dash different type of styling of the radio so you couldn't actually just remove the radio and install an aftermarket unless you really wanted to actually change the entire dashboard all right so let's get started man. let's get started now in my particular car um, it's pretty simple uh, this one actually has just two bolts right here to remove this this face plate right here which also I got some wires connected to this voltage meter as you can see is it's, uh, it's reading 12.9 I'm parked right now in the Sun I was trying to find a, a, a shaded area but no luck now um down here this particular model this is a mitsubishi uh, 2000 uh, an eclipse model gt uh, v6 which it also applies to the uh, four cylinder model once the two screws are removed from down here just pull you can see just pull out the uh but mine's is a little bit different because mine's has some some custom work that I did as you can see back here I'm working with one hand so let's just remove the top clip which is this is the hazards and let me remove the uh, without shorting the creating a short here all right that's disconnected let's put it off to the side let's get a Phillips now, as you can see here, this is why I want to replace it. It's got a plastic bracket on it. It's really, I'm not too keen on those. I ended up purchasing this bracket here. It's really, I didn't have no choice. I couldn't get. Okay, normally it's supposed to have four screws. But like I said, it didn't have no brackets and included it. There were screws missing. All right. Now my radio is loose. Let's pull it out. You can see that's what I want to work on is the wiring. Just so I could tidy all of that up. Now. Uh, yeah, I'm already seeing. The, oh, no, it doesn't. It's, uh, it's just a small fix. I'm going to try out the bracket here. This is the one that goes on this side. On the left side nice okay and it also applies to the right uh, let me disconnect this radio up give me a second now I just removed the radio um, let me just show you this for a second this is the aftermarket radio plug that I was referring to in another video this one is a it's a black one the female actually is male yeah and um, as you can see all the wires here that are taped up that's what I wanted to work on but I didn't bring no uh, I didn't bring no no heat, heat shrink tools so I'm gonna end up leaving them as is until I could bring them I left them in the house now uh, you can see here this is the fact that this is the uh, aftermarket radio plug 
same thing the wires are all disconnected and why is that because this car has its own uh, factory amp which is this wire right here this does not apply to every car that's on the uh on the road there's a lot of cars that do not have uh that do not have these like the four cylinder model of the mitsubishi eclipse uh uh the 2000s or uh, right up to the the 05s they don't have no no amps in them unless somebody adds it to it like i did mine has a secondary amp which is for bass well it really don't have much to do here ain't got no no heat shrink thing got that all right yeah this goes right up to my amp this is for my amp right here this one but we're gonna be working on the radio i'm gonna end up removing this and then we're gonna continue uh to add these on because this is the the reason why i made this video is to you know how to actually remove this from your stock radio and you place it onto the aftermarket radio which is replacing the radio itself now this is what I was referring to using the stock brackets you see that this hole right here and I believe it's this one that's actually going to line up with the holes on the bracket you're going to use the top ones and if you're using a double den let's see let's get them lined up there they go perfectly lined up now you got to do is just uh add the screws to it the bottom piece which actually is a uh, is another plastic piece which um is it's like a plastic pocket well uh, i do not have that available in here right now all right let me add this one on and then we're going to continue on with the other side all right just added the brackets as you can see here holes are lined up there's a second one I left the other screws out so this way you could actually see that the holes do align you can see there what you need is just a bottom piece which in my case yeah I looked at my car and it's not in here which is a plastic uh, holder that actually sits right underneath the radio and so like a plastic pocket I'm gonna end up looking around for it Either it's in here or it's back at the house. Then I'll find out. Now this is the plastic bracket that I purchased. It costed me some like uh, like seventeen dollars. It's really it's really not the greatest. It's only plastic, and it did it did its job for the time being. But I rather prefer the uh, the metal brackets. Now this is what I have missing here this piece right down here this one I cannot add it on because I ain't got no way of bolting it onto uh, there's no way of well maybe there is who knows maybe I'll figure something out okay now the uh, the brackets like I said they're on right now and um, there's another thing that I want to work on but I'm not gonna be able to today so I'm gonna be cutting this video short and continue it later this is the USB port intake. Okay, if my radio, my Alpine is, is located in the back, I wanna add a, um, a longer USB cable extension so this way I could connect my 32 gigabyte, yeah, this is 32. Yeah, micro uh, USB uh, flash drive. That actually stores all my music in it. I'm going to leave it there for now. We're going to install the radio as is. Which in any case, being that I'm short of that plastic piece, I may end up having to install this all over again until I find that piece. Wow. It's not a good day, people. It's not a good day. But it is what it is. We're going to work with it and see what it comes up. If not, then I'll just stick the other uh, plastic part back on for the time being. Just because of that plastic pocket here. I don't have the original on me. It's not in the car. All right, people. Okay. Just added the radio back in, as you could tell. But, like I said, oh, wow. 
All right, let me put this thing back on temporarily to see where the radio stands right now. Oh man, that's why. Gotta watch that. The leads, because it's from my voltage meter. Okay. All right. It's more or less what it will end up looking like. Plus, I need the. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look bad at all. That's not even full volume, people. That's not even full volume. But, I don't know. I feel like leaving it like that for now. It looks a little bit out of the ordinary. Okay, there's another piece here. Actually, it's a front bracket. Where did it go? Ah. Face plate. I had the face plate right here, and there it is. Actually, this goes right underneath. Yeah, this is gonna go inside this piece right here. I gotta remove this back out. Remove this. Put this there temporarily. As, like I was saying, um, depending on your car model, your installation is gonna vary. So please do keep that in mind. But if it does come across uh do your research please do your research especially when it comes to these brackets so this way your installation will go smoothly if you do have uh, a car that that does seem like it has a regular radio in it which is a, the uh, factory radio and you want to install an aftermarket and it you know it looks like a regular radio then more than likely you're going to have these brackets it's not going to look identical to this one but uh, the procedure is basically the same You remove it uh, remove the entire radio remove the brackets at least one of them uh, Try it on the new radio that you're gonna install and then uh, You're also gonna need the after aftermarket radio wiring plug Which it does have all the wires color-coded identical to the aftermarket radio so you got to do is connect you can either use uh, uh, electrical tape the black one or like in my case in another video in a prior video I did I used uh, heat shrink tubes to actually keep the, the wires from actually making uh, contact but it is what it is people Well, I was able to, um, I had to stop the video yesterday because of some parts that I had missing, um, which it was just plastic, the, the, the lower pocket that belongs underneath the radio. I had that missing, so I had to stop the video, go back home, and then uh, locate this part that I needed. I was able to disassemble the radio and get it ready for reassemb reassembly. But there was one thing that I wanted to actually emphasize on that you, uh, if you have this on the radio you, and you're using the, the stock brackets, uh, you really do not need this. You know, you can put it to the side, uh, save it, take it home, put it in a box or something, whatever you want. But we're going to continue on working with the radio. Uh, okay, this right. So, like I said, it's. Uh, Place it there. Let me get a screw. Which I gotta locate the other screws. Yesterday I had a slight interruption with a uh, with a passerby that saw what I was doing with the car and uh, was curious. Okay, both lined up. Wow, I only got one hand available here. This is not good. All right, people, give me a minute. Okay, now I got um, everything already assembled. Now I did run into a small problem that there's no holes to line up over here with the 
with a plastic pocket which really what I needed secured was the radio as you can see the screws perfectly lined up this thing is like uh, it's a little bit off balance there but otherwise and uh, with these brackets with the original brackets of your car if they're more or less like this where you got two top two top holes and two lower ones more than likely you'll be able to fit a uh, a double din radio with touch screen and everything but I still rather you know for my preference I rather go with a single din uh, a lot of the a double din radio assemblies you cannot remove the faceplate so that you know you got to come up with a way to cover it like let's say that this entire thing is your whole screen you got to find a way to cover it you know if you're in a and you live in an area where it's uh high crime or or the uh, auto break-ins occur more, more frequently than other places well but i still rather prefer this one all right now i'm gonna end up putting it back together back in here so this way uh i could continue because the wifey is with me today and she's in a hurry to go shopping so all right. all right just give me a moment because i only got one hand she's oh, all right okay radio's back in still have to put on the, the four bolts actually it doesn't look that bad with this plastic one it's not like the other the chinese uh plastic one Sure that everything turns on. I plugged it in. So. Okay. Make sure everything works. Now the bezel, which I did find it, I did find one, find one of them, but this is not the one that I was hoping for. This actually belongs on the Pioneer radio. It's not the, it's not the bezel for this radio. I believe that the bezel for this radio is installed with the Pioneer. So I'm gonna leave it as is there. This is the final result. As you can see the entire the cover is placed on. Radio is on. Uh, 
if you have any doubts or any questions please uh, you know feel free to ask I'm always I will, I'm always available uh, please do subscribe if you like my channel uh, you already know what to do people you have a good day it's time to hit the road